Boy Scout leader Bob Gates took a bold step yesterday calling for an end to the ban on gay leaders within the organization. Zach Walls is the director, exec, executive director, I should say, of the group Scouts for Equality. He himself is an accomplished Eagle Scout, the highest rank attainable in the Boy Scouts. He's also the son of lesbian mothers and an activist for the LGBT community. Zach, thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, we were just talking a little bit off camera. Are you surprised that Gates did this? Because when he came in, you mentioned that he was not more likely than not going to touch this issue, which mm -hmm. has been in the public spotlight for some time, well, going back to Jesse Helms mm -hmm. when he was in the Senate. Mm -hmm. Are you surprised he moved on this? Well, a year ago when he took this job uh, as president of the Boy Scouts, Dr. Gates said that he did not want to relitigate the issue during his two-year term as president. Uh, what's clear is that even though he's a former director of the CIA, he didn't see this uh, environment coming. Uh, we've seen a lot of changes for the Boy Scouts uh, in terms of what's happened in New York, where the New York Council has hired an openly gay adult leader. Out in Denver, Colorado, the Boy Scouts are facing pending legal action. Uh, so it's clear that the environment really has changed for Dr. There Gates. seems to be at least a legal movement, especially in the states that have been receptive to LGBT rights. Um, now, the recommendation, it's not ultimately up to him, though. This does have to be implemented by scout mm -hmm. leaders. How does that look like? And could you see changes in, in states that are receptive, like, like Massachusetts versus perhaps maybe in Alabama? That's right. Well, we don't know what the resolution is actually going to be. We don't know what the policy is that they're going to put forward. Uh, what we do know is that Dr. Gates has said that they need to make the change sooner rather than later. Uh, and he spoke very clearly about the fact that if they don't make this change on their own, the courts could very well step in and force them to change. Uh, back in 2000, the Boy Scouts won a Supreme Court case, Dale v. BSA, uh, but it, he seems to think that the legal basis for that decision may have been undermined by recent developments that we've a seen. A lot of scout troops start because of a connection to a local church or parish. Yeah, you have the Mormon church, obviously, mm -hmm. out in Utah. Uh, they sponsor a lot of scouting activities. They said they're going to re-examine their relationship with the scouts after this. Are you worried that could be detrimental to membership if, in fact, religious groups pull out? Yeah, well, Dr. Gates is in a very tough position. He has to uh, go, he has to walk a line between where his chartering organizations are, and these are the Mormon Church, the Catholic Church, the United Methodist Church, uh, and where uh, a lot of the, the rest of the country is going. Uh, so the Boy Scouts have to figure out how to keep their chartering partners happy while also making sure that they don't get left behind in the 20th century. Uh, he's going to have a, an uphill battle in front of him, but he's a capable leader who made his reputation on tough decisions and straight talk, so I think he's the guy to do it. And lastly, real quick, we're talking about this historic vote in Ireland uh, for marriage equality. Mm -hmm. um, you said that scouts in, in the UK have allowed for LGBT right. individuals to be involved, and it's really had no impact at, at all. all. Uh, talk about that a little bit. Well, I think what we've seen internationally is uh, a willingness to engage on this issue that we haven't seen with the Boy Scouts of America specifically. Mm -hmm. In part, that's because I think of the relationships they have with the Mormon Church, with the Catholic Church. Uh, but as you uh, pointed out in your segment earlier with uh, the vote coming up in Ireland, mm -hmm. I think we're seeing some changes in faith communities as it's well. Remarkable. Zach Walls, thank you so much for coming on the show and talking to us. We Good appreciate it. Something we'll keep an eye on. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russer. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.